And welcome back, everyone! <laughs> I, uh, I, ooh, reflective ancient charm. I kinda lost track of time with, uh, flinging my bombs everywhere. But everything's good. <laughs> me. Let's take her down! Ow! Oh, a little blood. What did you call me, sir? Vanished like a blasted down. Guide this through the heart. All out of patience. I need to find a merchant for all this slag glass stuff. They've gotten us on, all right. He needs help. Let's try. Explosions going on. I half expected him to die. Kindy sent me. Let's get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. Guess I owe him a slap on the back. Come on, this way. This way. Right behind you, buddy. Oh, we have to climb. To you, brother. <laughs> Kindy, you've told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? No. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? <sighs> but after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe. You too, buddy. Be safe. This is a rugged place out here. No room for the weak. No room for the shadows. Reminds me a lot of Arizona. <laughs> it's like a wasteland out here. You gotta be rough and rugged. And have a thin layer of grudge on your neck. Otherwise, you'll never make it out here. <laughs> okay, where am I going next? Uh, I can't go to Olin. I can't. I got. I gotta go to. Uh, Gotta go to Aaron first. You hear that, peeps? We have our destination. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you serious? I could have totally made that drum. You gotta be tough 
must I else to survive my wounds? <laughs> You've got to be hard as a hammer. Put that thing away. But you said you gotta be hard as a hammer! That is not what I meant. But come on, you said I gotta be hard as a fucking hammer! There's not going to be any fucking today. But you fucking I said! I did not say fucking. <laughs> <laughs> now please, Peachy, have some decency and put that thing away. <laughs> I should, uh, I should probably stop right there before it gets any better. Order the units. You're mine now, Gator. Do they seriously have solar flares for eyes? That's, uh, that's pretty wild. able to get to Aaron before the video ends. More than likely. But I have to go that way. Get out. My god, look at all those scrappers. 
How the hell could they smell scrap this far away? They know where I am. What? All sense. Back out the I went too far. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm on the right path. So, how are you lovely peeps doing today? Doing alright? I hope you are. Because if not, then my job isn't being fulfilled. Time for you. Killed some bandits. The world is a safer place. I see. Who did this, number 86? Another quest? You're in for a treat. It's quite a show. What do you want? <laughs> don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary. I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder. That's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. I think I know what did it. Five men murdered? How? Don't know. One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend, may he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh, yeah. Chunks of corpses. Gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Nah, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately, and Saravad said... No, that's just stupid. What's stupid? What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry, where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. <laughs> Moving rocks. Yep, I know precisely what this is. You've been using explosives? <laughs> sure. To clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff, we do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were torn apart, not blown up. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Oh, you're about to see a brand new machine, I'll buddy. have a look around the quarry. <laughs> if you think it'll help. This isn't up to their usual standard. Quick save. Quick save! I love this bit. Are you peeps ready? We don't need any uh, Okay. Apparently I can't platform down to the quarry. 
<laughs> that, I'm so happy I quick saved there. <laughs> note, uh, note to self. Don't, uh, don't hop down. This is not a platforming game. Even though it's supposed to be a parkour game. This mound come from. Why, hello there, Tremors. Oh boy, you're a big one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I love you so much, Talk. Bloody hell. Honestly, I'm surprised I, uh, I managed that on the first try. Now I need to go back up to What's-His-Face and tell him the problem's been dealt with. Although there is some nice loot down here. Any other nice loot down here? Blast. 
Hi, Holman! I got rid of your graboid problem. <laughs> A graboid machine. That is honestly pretty terrifying. seen a machine like that whoa nor a hunter so bold take this it's from the quarry stores but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it may you walk in the light friend especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground i've seen this four times already what yay fucking liar you haven't seen this shit four times already Get the fuck out of my wild lands. <laughs> I prefer the one about the sun priest falling in love with a merchant's daughter. Aaron! Oh god, he's all the way over there. It may take the rest of the episode just to get to him. Maybe. My way! And then to the right again? Yeah, to the right again. Oh, we're going to the palace! Cool. No one goes into the palace without an invitation. What? Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Mirage. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. Is what do you that mean? So? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Oseram gets special treatment, and now outlanders from the Savage what East? What possible interest could the Sun King have in her? Fuck you! By some Aloy is Sunday. pretty and beautiful, and more fucking badass than any of you other civilians. <laughs> Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. Precisely. That's probably the What's best the roast I've the ever heard of The most important thing noble. is what he isn't like. <laughs> his father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I checked Ursa's tomb. 
You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murat. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. Oh. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaram. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. That is rough. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asaram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. Is that so? I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. Okay, so we have to find this Durval and try to stop him. Sounds fun. That will be for the next episode, though. Thanks for tuning in, peeps. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy the next video as well. Tschüss.